Bandwidth for MacBreak is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm here again with Steve Martin. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. Last time I was here was in Macworld. I know. We had a little bit of a hiatus. Not not much for everybody here. We we record we record a bunch of these all at the same time. Yeah, like sixteen of them. It was a long day. <sighs> anyway, so it's it's good to have you back. It's great to be and, back. And uh, we have a good reason to be back. Final Cut Studio. Ooh, a new Final Cut Studio. Yes, no, and no three. No three. Why not three? Uh, you know what? No one really knows no why. No one cares why. It's just new. It's the new Final Cut Studio. Correct. So, and there's lots of new features, and we're going to talk a little bit about Final Cut, right? Right. Okay, so so what are we talking about today? Well, um, one of the biggest new features uh -huh. is the new Speed Tool. Um, previously, the Speed uh, Tool effects were kind of cumbersome. Now they're really, <laughs> kind of? they're really elegant now. They're really easy. Awesome. Well, let, let's see how they work. Okay, well, what I want to do is talk about freeze frames and what okay. you do it before versus how you would do it now. Okay. Well, what you do before is you. <laughs> yeah. Well, it just it just the, the way you did it before was really um, time consuming. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this uh, freeze frame here, and the way you do it before, of course, you could uh, press Shift N on the keyboard. Right. And uh, that brings up the freeze in the viewer, right? Right. And then let's say I'm going to make this a 20 frame freeze. So I'm going to type in 20 frames, right? Right. And I'm just going to do an insert edit at the playhead. Okay. Of course, if you look here. Yeah, you have a freeze frame, but look, look what it yeah, did all you my audio tracks. Up the audio and, you got, yeah, exactly. So, so or you have to put it on another track. You got to put it on another track, and it's right. it's just a lot a lot of work. So yeah. I don't like that. I'm going to go ahead and undo that, and I'm going to go ahead and turn on this uh, keyframe overlay button over here, so you can see the speed ticks. Okay? Mm, okay. I'm also going to zoom in a little bit using Option Plus, and I zoom okay. in on the playhead, and you will be able to see it easier. Mm -hmm. But we're going to do a freeze frame using these speed tools. It's so much easier now. Right. So what I'm going to do is move my mouse into the speed tick area, and you see a pen tool comes up. Okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and click it there and make a speed keyframe. Right? Right. Now, I want the speed keyframe to be 20 frames, just like right. the other one. So I'm just going to type in plus 20. It's going to move the play at 20 frames. Right. right. Now I just simply make another speed keyframe there. Okay. Got it. Now, one thing about the speed tool is it breaks the clip into segments. You have a segment here between the first and second keyframe, right. and you have another segment between the second and third. So right. all I have to do is put my mouse between the second and third keyframe, right. right click and choose change speed segment. So what we have here is a brand new change speed segment dialog. Right. And notice it's set for 100%. Right. All we have to do is just type in 0% and click return. Now you look, the speed right. ticks. Notice. The speed ticks here, it's flat. It's, uh, no, it stopped and then it's sped up over here. Exactly. So what I'm going to do, it, the idea with the speed segments is not supposed to change the speed around the other On segments. Other side, right. right. So I'm going to go ahead and hit space bar. This freeze for 20 frames, and there you have it. Right. Now it's faster on the other end. It is faster on the other end. And what you're going to get on the third segment, which you're asking mm -hmm. about there, is you may get a slight speed change only because it's looking at the total duration of the clip. So right. if there's not enough frames and if the clip isn't very long, it's going to have to, it's going to have to give and take somewhere else. Right. So in some cases, I mean if you didn't want it to increase the speed that you could you could add another ski, uh, speed keyframe here, right. and then change the segment here. Go back to uh, change speed segment, and then you can see make it's at 140. I can make that 100. But this just is showing you how easy it is. So then right. I can just then I could just cut the clip clip off at that last speed keyframe. But now it's 100 before, zero in the second segment, and back at 100 on the third segment. Seamless. Seamless. That's excellent. Yeah. So um, the new speed tools make a tremendous difference. It's just so much easier to work with them now. You don't have to. It's not a lot of that. I mean, it just you, the, the main thing is, is you keep it all in the same clip, so you're not you're not having to deal with all of that moving it from to another place or at reinserting yeah, all yeah. that all those other pieces. Here's an, the the next thing that's really cool is if you've ever tried to media manage a speed affected clip. Oh, yeah. It just it would just get all jacked up. Right not now, so, now it's no. all the same clip, so you don't have any problem at all. No problems. Great. Right. Now, now you've got a bunch of new videos on Final Cut Seven, right? Correct. On Ripple Training. Correct. If you go to um, if you go to RippleTraining.com, we actually have uh, 19 tutorials that are free. And there's like 78 minutes wor worth of them. Just go to Ripple Training, click on the home page. Fantastic. Yeah, and then you so get people some, really want to dive deep into some of these new. Yeah, they've got they motion. Do. They got um, compressor. We That's you great. know spend you know several weeks, and right. also we have some new Final Cut Studio products coming with uh, by September. Awesome, yeah. Steve. Thanks right. so much. Thanks, Alex. Right. And thank you thanks. for watching Mac Break Studio.